Welcome back. That, of course, was the former Secretary of State, former First Lady Hillary Clinton on ABC's The View. And as you heard right there, she went as far as comparing Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. She has escalated here. It was first deplorables, then it was MAGA supporters are programmed, and now it's a comparison to Hitler. I think the general rule of thumb, no matter what political side of the aisle you're on, is don't compare people to Hitler. Is it not? So uh, she started with, before that segment, she started by talking about being Secretary of State and seeing one and done leaders. And, and that our democracy is fragile and that we need to protect it. I think that the problem is believing that any president has enough power that you could do away with all of our rights. I believe that in America, we have more checks and balances, and we saw that on January 6th. That is not to say I don't believe that Donald Trump would do everything in his power if he were elected again to go after people who were saying things that are awful to him, including his former chief of staff, including maybe even you, Mick. <laughs> I'm curious. Already but Mace, Mace, you're I think shaking it your was head. more nuanced. Yeah, I mean, this is this to me is just the example of the Democrats don't have policy issues right now that they can run on. Bidenomics is not working. And so Trump is a threat to democracy, has sort of it's 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 old it's used and so now we're escalating now it's hitler and i just don't think that this type of rhetoric is helpful for our country this the next election is so consequential it is the it's the environment that creates violence and danger is because people think everything is on the line and as somebody who acts like she cares about our democracy this type of behavior is exactly the opposite of what you would want to see i'll, I'll say I strongly disagree with you that Democrats are running on issues. We've got choice and abortion front and center right now. And defense of democracy is polls very high as voters' concern about the future of democracy. And it's something we should be talking about frequently on the campaign trail and across America. But, you know, the, what the, the secretary was actually contrasting Donald Trump to Hitler in a way. She was saying that Hitler did not communicate what he was trying to do. She's saying Donald Trump is. He's telling you what you're going to take him at his word. And I think that's the message we should glean from this. Donald Trump is telling you what he's going to do if he becomes president. We should all understand what that really means and the implications of that. And I think Democrats on the trail are going to continue I to, to I put mean, that comparing point. comparing anyone to Hitler is, you know, a Holocaust. Like, it, I, don't, I don't even want to go down that road, but... I mean, I, I'll leave aside that both the Democrats at the, the table have now defended those remarks because those remarks are not defensible. And here's the, here's the struggle I face. She's a professor at Columbia. I'm supposed to speak there next week. They've just put out a whole series about how they're supporting civil discourse. Is it real at these universities today, or is it just virtue signaling? They want to have a conference on, on civil discourse, so they invite me to go, but they let a professor go on and compare a former president of the United States to Hitler. I, I don't know. I'm not a cancel culture guy. I want to go, but I also don't want to feed this. I don't want to let Are them you, So of, you're considering not going? I, I, I want to go, but I don't want to let... The, I don't want to be part of a virtue signaling from university that really believes that Donald Trump is Hitler. And when, when, when somebody like this goes out and says this, and the university doesn't push back, what does that say about the university? If I go on stage and say that I'm for traditional marriage, they will consider that hate speech. What was that last night? In their minds, they're saying it's free speech. I'm not sure how traditional marriage is hate speech and hit Trump is Hitler is free speech. Well, I, don't I think get we the need to protect speech, but you not going means that people who don't, who have your views, won't have someone there to have this dialogue with. We won't expose people to views that are different than theirs. I thought the most wonderful thing about the University of Kansas is that we were exposed to so many different views, and it is critical right now. The other comments that she said, in this particular uh, view segment, she was talking about Israel and Palestine in a really effective way, in which she was really talking about the people who have the signs that are free Palestine, don't have all the information, and then she gave it to them. So, you know, people are not always right on everything. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't speak. I think you should very much go speak. It's the third time, though, you defended her and saying it's okay to call Trump. Yeah, out. and her comparison was not uh, that Trump is like a better version of Hitler. It was that he was a worse one because of his supporters. She was saying that Hitler didn't say exactly what he was going to do, so maybe there was some plausible deniability from uh, people who voted for him. He's telling you, if you vote for this guy, you are voting for Hitler with your eyes open. And so it is, again, an indictment, not just on him, but uh, what she thinks about just Republicans. Can you imagine 70 million if we were Americans. running Clinton again? I mean, can you imagine if no. we were running Clinton again? No, I think we need By a new way, generation of leadership. Don't count it out. <laughs>
Oh gosh. Don't count it out. I mean, you think so? Well, we got a lot of people if, running if they, that are. Huh? If they, She's done. I mean, like, look, I, I, She's done. I want Hillary Clinton as president desperately more than anyone on this panel. Uh, I, I, you know, yes, you I, she's the reason I became a Democrat, <laughs> right? So I, I, I think she's been a terrific public servant. I think she's been through hell and back, um, and is still fighting for a better world and a better democracy. Like this, you know, this incident is unfortunate because I don't. I, I generally think you lose your argument anytime you bring Hitler into the equation. Like and everything else it. goes away, Even. and it's just it, it weakens your argument. I think there was better ways she could have done that. When Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.